Hey guys, something differently is happening in Nigeria today. You'll be shocked to hear Northern Edders ask the Nigerian government to prosecute President Muhammad Buhari, his aides, and all that. According to them, they say Buhari government was the worst ever Nigeria ever produced. <laughs> May they never finish talk or because we never finish this tenor. They understand. They say they know it no matter where anybody come from, anybody went do anywhere, anyhow, this time around, they go collect. Well, this is very good. If we can separate uh, religion, separate uh, ethnic city from uh, politics, and the and the and the, the 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 leadership of this country, Nigeria will go far. You understand? Nigeria will go far where where. What you come and come at now is concerning AGF Abubakar Malami. Una know now the former Nigeria Attorney General of Federation. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, a Nigeria Anti Graft Agency (ICC) begins probe of. Uh, uh, Abubakar Malami over alleged corruption, abuse of office, and what have you. Northern Edders says Nigerian government should prosecute Timo if found guilty. With all the former president of uh, uh, Muhammad Buhari, they say they are the worst leaders Nigeria ever produced. Like as I said, I am beginning to love this. You understand? It's high time we delete religion, uh, ethnicity from this, this, this people. That is only when Nigerian can move forward. They don't they wake up from slumber. Since when then they do not my people, not my this. They themselves, they know they progress. You understand? The country itself is not progressing because of all these characters here and there. Yesterday, the independent corrupt practices and other related offenses of offenses commission, offense commission, please pardon me, ICPC, has stated that it is investigating allegations of corruption and abuse of office against the former attorney general of the federation and minister of justice, Abubakar Malami, over allegations of corruption and abuse of office. The ICPC stated this in a memo dated July 19, 2023, and this was signed by H.S. for Larry May for the chairman, which was obtained by Sahara reporters on Monday. The ICPC, in a response to a petition filed by Human Rights Environmental Development Agenda, H.E.D.A. Resource, Center, a Nigerian-based non-governmental organization, said in its memo, I am directed to acknowledge the receipt of your petition on the above subject and to inform you that necessary action is being taken on the matter. In the HEDA petition dated July 10th and obtained by Sahara reporters, the civic organization, through its chairman, had written this petition it submitted to bring to you attention and demand investigation into allegations of corruption and abuse of office against the former Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abubakar Malami San. We are presumed by lack of investigation or report of any by the anti corruption agencies of several reports of corrupt practices and abuse of office levied against the person and the uh, reverend position occupied by Mr. Malami being the number one law officer of the country. Some of these allegations as converged in the media reports and documentary evidence go to the root of breakdown of law and order and total disregard for the rule of law. Why Mr. Malami served as justice minister these allegations serve as a slap in the face of the anti-corruption agencies and Nigerian people. The failure to respond to many of these allegations 
present the agencies before the ordinary citizen as toothless anti-corruption bodies and further embedded affected public officer. You know Nigeria, say, when you are connected, anytime you find yourself in this kind of a thing, you are well protected. I think this is what the Northern, the Northern elders are saying. We are no longer going to protect anybody outside you. If you do anyhow, you go collect. They understand? Because all these things they are doing is just for their family members. Look at these leaders. Look at their people. Their people suffer the most. You understand? But because of religion and this and this, they want to cover up. Now they are saying, we are tired. We are tired. The government should not just stop uh, on this very person, the former... Uh, the former Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, but they just have to go far as proving the, the former president and all his aides. And they now confirm that the former government, the former APC government was the worst in the history of Nigeria and all that. But funny enough, APC will tell you that they are the best government so far in the history of this country. Like what I always say, if you want to be upright in what you are doing, you have to involve every other uh, office holders, public office holders, who are, who are in one way or the other found one thing. Not be say you will select people. You understand? That one not good. This government of President uh, Bola Metunobu should not select people for persecution, he should prove those who are supposed to be proved. Let them be persecuted so that others will learn. Because you are opportune to be in office, that does not make you God. One day you will leave. Today, where is Anthony General of the Federation? He was acting like God. Why in the office? Abuse office and all that. Nothing when this man never do. Now, so you still carry DSS, they invade people's house. You know, nothing. This man's supposed to be persecuted if we are in a same country. Because by the end of the day, even all this one self, when they talk, you're not going to hear him again. So sad. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe.